Hello, love you too, family. Welcome back to Screen Trends. Today, we are going to be talking about bar rescues. Where are they now? Part 8. If you like the content of this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below. Enjoy the video. Number 10, the Cave Sports Bar. This bar is located in Anaheim, California, and they started out with $200,000 worth of debt as well as a family manager who failed to do his job. They seem to have turned it around as they have a 4.5 star rating on Yelp and even opened up a second location in the area. The low price of the drinks and the friendly bartenders are what keep customers coming back. So this one was one happy ending that came after a much needed rescue. Number nine, Sticks and Stones Bar and Grill. This establishment changed its name back to the original name after Taffer changed it to Pit Stop Bar and Barbecue. It is located in Sugar Creek, Missouri, and they had several staffing issues like drunk employees and a lack of safe food practices. They did plan on closing back in 2019 with thoughts of selling, but they later decided to stay open and haven't closed since. Number 8. Triple Nickel Tavern the owners of this bar ended up on the show after some family deaths tanked their profitable, profitable business to one that was $150,000 in debt. It is located in Colorado Springs and the owners went back to some of their old decor like bar tops and stools after guests complained about its cheapness. Overall, the reviews have still been very positive but they weren't negative before the episode, so this one makeover that still could be counted as a miss. Number 7. Bottoms Up Bar and Grill This bar is located in Stanton, California, and it wasn't struggling like other bars that have been on the show. They already have 5 separate locations open, showing their ability to make money in the business. The start of the episode shows some crazy servers willing to do anything for a bigger tip and it looks as if the owner is ready to cut her losses and sell. It seems they lost a bit of business after they had an active shooter situation in one of their bars back in 2019, where one of their employees died during the whole ordeal. They have not had many reviews following the episode due to the mandated government shutdown, but fans expect they will be just as good if not better than before. Number 6. Back to SRO this bar was originally named Mac and Chester's Standing Room only until Taffer decided to change the name to Boulder Lodge Bar and Grill. The owner changed it again in 2017 back to SRO as well as made other small changes based on the suggestions of their patrons. The owner claimed they learned a lot from the experience and even saw a 35% increase in their sale numbers, proving this was one positive outcome from the show. Number 5. Butchers and Brew Pub Many positive outcomes have come from the show, but this is not one of them. They had a variety of problems like a large menu, too many kegs, and a microwave they used to make food. It was originally called the Drunken Donkey Bar and Grill before Taffer made this change, but they have also seen a decrease in revenue since his arrival. Many guests are unsure why the bar needed a makeover in the first place seeing as it was always packed, but the owners paid for it in the long run as they lost customers due to the changes that they made. Number 4. No Name Saloon Edgewater, Florida is the home to the No Name Saloon, which is a biker bar that has some issues with family management. Taffer let them keep the name while making several other changes to the establishment. The reviews have been mixed since they were featured on the show, as many still don't like the fact that they allow smoking inside of the building. One thing that probably didn't help business was the fact that a murder took place outside of the bar just a mere two months after the renovation. Number 3. The Sandbar Brewery and Grill This bar is located in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and the name was changed from the Sandbar Brewery and Grill but went back to the old name shortly after filming ended as patrons didn't like Playa Island Bar. Unfortunately, the rescue didn't help as they closed a few short months after filming was finished. It is still available for lease and advertised as a turnkey restaurant and bar, so maybe the owners will have more luck. Number 2. 
Martini Brothers, renamed the Federal. The main issue with this bar had was the clash between the landlord and the owners of the establishment. But Taffer came in and tried to set things right. The name of the bar was originally Martini Brothers, but they kept the new name Taffer gave it after the show. The fishy thing about this rescue is that following the air of the episode, one of the owners, Dan Martini, was arrested for his part in a $2 million eBay fraud scandal, which definitely didn't help the business. Number 1. Kiva Lounge and Bar This bar had a sad ending as they ended up closing back in 2019 and many customers were confused as it seemed very sudden. It already had its issues as they had been negative about $200,000 in just two years, and part of it was due to their incompetent bartenders. Taffer tried to help them and make some changes, including renaming the bar The Morgue, but in the end, it wasn't enough to save it from destruction. Well, that's it from this video. How was this video? Did you like it? If yes, then hit the thumbs up and comment down below. Subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon for more videos. See you soon in the next video.